Hi everyone! Today we're going to make a latte out from skim milk, but before that, let's go to buy the milk first. Oh, look at that, that's the lean chocolate. Wait, 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 that's what I'm after. Okay, buy chocolate. Alright, find it guys, skim milk for our coffee today. Cheers! Mmm! Did you make this with skim milk? Yeah. Oh my god, it tastes really good with a good latte out and a teddy bear on it. Yeah, of course. Actually, uh, skim milk can make a good latte art too. Wow. So, today we want to show you how to make a good latte art with a skim milk. So, let's start! Let's get started! Alright, so now let's start with pulling out fresh shot of espresso first. And have you ever heard people say that, oh, it's very hard to make a good latte art with skim milk? Well, is it true though? Well, let me tell you the bitter truth. Yes, it's harder to draw a latte out with skim milk than full cream milk because it just doesn't smoothly flowing out of the milk jug and it's very stiff that makes it hard to draw a perfect latte art. Okay, now let's just compare how full cream can be very different from the skim milk. With the full cream milk, the milk can smoothly flowing out of the jug and you can control the latte art pattern very easily. And even with the heart shaped latte art, one of the most basic latte art, you can't really draw a perfect heart with skim milk. And you might be wondering, what can you do to make the skim milk looks good? Well, let me show you how. You can make a nice teddy bear art with the skim milk. The latte art looks so adorable and flawless. So how do you make it? Well, let me show you. So position the steam one just below the surface of the milk to make the froth first. We're going to make a skim cappuccino, so you'll need to make a lot of froth. And it's always important to get that milk spinning in a circular motion from the beginning. And when you get that milk spinning in a circular motion, it will give that smooth and silky texture of the milk. Once you think you have made enough for us to bring up the milk pitcher, just wait for the milk to get hot. So this is how you do it. Don't forget to put some chocolate powder on the top because you're going to make a regular cappuccino and swirl the milk around the espresso while filling it up until 3 quarter full. Then imagine yourself making two layer tulip. One big one and one small one. Do not pull it through at the end and then you use a spoon to scoop out a little bit of the milk froth to make the teddy's ears. And then you can use anything sharp like a skewer stick to draw the eyes, eyebrows, nose and lips. Easy peasy. second cup of skim cappuccino and it tastes really nice and very smooth but you can't really draw tulip or rosetta on it right? yeah actually with the skim milk um, it's a bit harder to make um, rosetta or tulip but with the skim milk you still can draw a cute teddy bear 
Yeah, I personally prefer the teddy bear though. Yeah, of course, it's really cute, right? Yeah. yeah. Well, anyway, that's the end of today's video, and we'll see, see you next time. time. Bye bye. bye.